Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be covering a brand new mod that just released. This is the Serata Spide Spider, I think. Uh, it's a, another Doc J creation, so from the same people that made Gulligor, Moraquil, cool mods. Uh, I just want to put a quick disclaimer here, please don't give any hate to the people that make these mods. A lot of effort goes into them and just because you don't like them, that doesn't mean they should be hated on. But anyway, let me get straight into this. So, this is the brand new mod. It's a weird antler deer hybrid thing. It's a herbivore. But let's get straight into its subs and yeah. So, here's the male skin, by the way. Here's female, no difference. Uh, here's the default sub. Then we've got a curved horn sub and a female sub, which is just no facial hair, no facial hair and uh, small horns. So that's quite nice. But let's get straight into this. I want to go nice and quickly because I know how irritating it can be to have a long video for something so simple. So anyway, here it is. And as you can see, it's quite large. Uh, it's taller than T-Rex and I think longer than T-Rex as well. So that's quite nice. But let's get straight into it. So for these abilities we have on the end here, these are basically subspecies for people that don't like to do subs. So here we are, we've got Warrior, uh, which is 5% more damage. Uh, this one does nothing, by the way. Uh, Shaman, which is 25% health recovery, and Chief. This one gives you 10% attack damage and 5% increased stamina regen out of combat. So it's like a very weak version of an ambush, which quite nice. Uh, then we've got Reinforced Antlers, which reduces all damage taken to the head and neck which is literally just the same as face tank I know but it's got a cool icon and everything so it's quite nice and the first attack we have is headbutt uh, Serata spider are known to use their horns as weapons when fighting predators uh, they can throw predators around with their horns medium damage, 70 damage with knockback so something you'll notice on this thing is it'll sh it says what the damage actually is for all of its stuff so if it says medium damage it'll say how much damage it actually does which is quite nice uh, then we've got lone survivor which you know what that is 10% armor increase uh, herd leader often known to be leaders of a group of herbivores when they go on migrations increases attack damage by 2.5% for every herbivore in your group stacks up to 5 large herbivores don't activate the buff okay that's quite nice uh, adrenaline this hit this is a very cool ability, by the way. This ability increases the sprint speed and decreases sprint stamina drain by 20%, and increases stamina regen by 50%. Decreases income and damage by 75%, but no longer deal damage when you hit 20% health. So when you are at a fifth of your health, you can't do damage, but you get all of this. So it's quite cool. I like that. Now, for the front limbs. Uh, by the way, that was head attacks and senses. So now onto front limbs, uh, we have Bludgeon Barrage, a quick attack that stacks with each hit, can stack up to 5, low damage, 22 per punch. So I will equip that, and then let's have a look at Punch. Do, uh, does a series of small hits with their front hooves that can easily make any predator regret their actions. Medium damage, 30 damage, and each hit applies dazed. Reaching 5 stack of dazed, you get a concussion effect, which increases the turn movement speed by 100%, and reduces the attack damage and movement speed by 50%. So you move slower and you don't hit as hard, but you can turn much better when you have this new effect on. So let's have a look at the headbutt first. There you go, a nice simple headbutt, it's quite fast. I like that. Then we've got the uh, basically claw barrage, but with punch. Ooh, that's quite nice, I like that as well. And here we have the big punch. There you go, it leans forwards, that is quite nice, I like that. Uh, I know I just called it Big Punch, but it's yeah, it's just called Regular Punch, and then you've got Bludgeon Barrage. Anyway, so let's have a look at two more attacks, shall we? So we have Tremor Smash. Uh, Serata Spider are known to do a series of punches to the ground to disorientate opponents. High damage, 12 damage for every hit to the ground. AoE can only be used while standing still. So, although it says 12 damage, look at this thing. <clears throat> <laughs> this is insane. Quite a large AoE as well, and that hits, if you didn't count properly, it hits for 10 times. So that 12 is actually 120 if you hit them all. 
which is quite nice. Then we've got Haymaker, Threat Spider, known to launch forwards at Predators to deliver a massive punch to opponents and knock them out. High damage, 200 damage, and instant concussion effect, but high cooldown. So this will instantly apply that effect that gives you 50% less damage and movement speed, but 100% more turning. So this will instantly do that, and here's this ability. Just lunges forwards with one fist and does a big punch. I like that. It's quite cool. And it doesn't launch you too far, which is also quite nice. Uh, metabolism, we've got herbivore, able to eat berries and fruit, moderate food drain, and forager, able to eat flowers, nuts, roots, and fruit, fast food drain. Hides, dense fur, increases arm by 15%, resilient fur, increases bleeding venom, healing by 30%, and herd protector. Serata spider gives an aura of safety when it's around. Uh, herbivores, they feel relaxed and save energy, increase movement speed, and decreases incoming damage by 20% but also lowers attack damage by 30%. Only works in groups, and only affects small herbivores. So that's quite nice. Uh, then we've got Traction, increased turning speed by 10%, decreased stamina recovery by 30%. Strong Legs, takes 40% less knockback, 15% increased bone break healing. Long Distance Runner, reduces run stamina drain by 15%. So all of those are quite nice, you know? Very nice. Back Kick, Serata, uh... Serata can deliver a powerful back kick that can easily knock out predators. High damage 90, does not back and adds a day stack. Can only be used while crouched. Okay, let's equip that. Also, I have noticed the English is not fully, you know, proper in any of these abil well, not in any of them, but in some of these abilities, which is fine, you know. But anyway, here's the back kick. There we go. Yeah, that's why I struggled to read this one a little bit. But at the end of the day, th this isn't an English class, so... <laughs> but that's the back kick, quite a nice animation. 90 damage, not bad. Uh, for tail, we have balanced, gain 5% increased turning. Tail slaps, Rata Spider will use its tail to attack predators to chase after it. Low damage, 30, and not back. So let's have a look at the tail attack. Here we go. There you go, it's a nice little slap. Has a 2 second cooldown. Oh, the kick's cooldown, by the way. 5 seconds, so quite nice. Uh, then we've got Voice, which has Rage and Taunt. So, Rage. When Rage, Rat and Spada are known to pound their fists together to help them prepare for a fight. 20% increased attack damage, 20% decreased incoming damage, and 0.5 second off all cooldowns for 10 seconds. So let's have a look at this one. Ooh, that is quite nice. I like that. And there we go, we get the uh, effect for 10 seconds. <coughs> Right, because I'm not actually in combat, I'm just going to clear the cooldown, and we will do the other one. So this is Taunt. Threat Spider, known to taunt predators to make them more aggressive, but lowers its defense. Increase the attack damage and incoming damage by 20% to the nearest player. Only works on people who are not grouped. So it increases their damage, but decreases their... Uh, no, it increases their damage and increases incoming damage. So that's quite interesting. There we go. Oh, that's quite nice. Both have four minute cooldowns, which, you know, reasonable for what they do. Uh, so anyway, let's go on to animations and skins, as well as sounds. So here's the default skin. Let's have a look at its patterns. Two. There we go. Those are the nice patterns. Then we've got Sable, Cryptid, Occupy, which is a cool animal, Moose, Bullseye, Magma, Gilded, Melanistic and Albino. So those are the skins. Now let's go to animation. So here we have the trot. Here's the walk. It goes more upright. Uh, then we've got a unique crouch thing. So instead of crouching like normal, this thing does the opposite of what Para and Lambio do. Instead of being from all fours to two, it goes from two legs to four. Which, you know, it looks quite nice. I'm losing my voice a little bit. <laughs> but anyway, let's have a look at its eating and drink animation, and then we'll finish it off with sounds. So here's the eat. It's a bit tall for this berry bush, but it's quite nice. Pulls back. I like that. I think it was made for a bit of a taller tree or something, but either way, this is looking quite nice. I like that. Anyway, so let me just quickly run over. Yeah, this is its run animation, by the way. It's quite nice. So you will notice this thing has a lot of stamina for it, I think. I'm not too sure on vanilla stats, but it does have quite a lot of stamina. Uh, its stamina regeneration, however, is quite bad. Um, but yeah, this this thing looks alright. I like its run animation. It leans forward a lot. Here is its drinking animation. Ooh, 
goes in for nice big gulps. I like that. Also, something that Doc J or whoever helped make this mod has got perfect is uh, if you look at Ear Triceratops, not the armored one, but the uh, vanilla one, its uh, skin behind its frill will like clip into itself and have a really weird mesh as well as having it stretched textures, which is weird. But this thing, with the antlers, doesn't do that, so that's quite nice. Quite nice that they got that right. Anyway, so, sounds. Here's the broadcast. Ooh, nice and slow, goes right into the air, I like that. Uh, you'll notice this thing is not very loud, or very threatening to be honest. Here's the friendly. <laughs> I like that. Here's the threaten. Yep, just shows off its antlers. That's quite nice. Here's the distress. Oh, that one is uh, quite fast actually. But it looks nice. Here's the regular sound which you'd hear if you just typed in uh, any chat. There you go. Here's the shake. Ooh, quite a fast shake, but I like it. Here's the look. Oh my god, look how tall this thing is. This might be a Rex killer. <laughs> and this one is just another friendly call. There you go. So, anyway, that has been the new Cer Serata Spider, I think it's called. It's quite a nice mod, you know, it looks alright. Um, but, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed, have a wonderful day, and make sure to like, share, subscribe if you enjoyed this review, and yeah, see you later!